Welcome, esports fans, to the first cast match by some of the coaches here. We've got uh, our match here, Barbara High School versus Columbia High School. We have not had a chance to play them yet. We're starting off on Ilios, a map that many on the team very much enjoy. This season, we have a couple uh, usernames swapped over. We have Deputy, which is going to be uh, Thomas Cox. We've got Angel Angel subbing up from JV. This is Julian Dodrill. Uh, Moth, this is going to be uh, Ray Crowder. Parakeet God is Caden Harris. And then Feminine, Feminem, and you know what I mean. Feminine, Eminem. I, I can't say it. It's, it's early. Uh, this is going to be Sam Trent. And these are going to be our players here uh, for today's match. So why don't we unpause and get the match started. So I'm curious to see what kind of strategies Columbia is going to pull off here in our first map. Um, as we've mentioned, we haven't really seen them play anywhere, and I, I'm not really familiar with their play style. So I'm, I'm pretty excited to see the first win. Yeah, and I mean, I think this is one of the more favored of the uh, maps here. Everyone loves Well, everyone loves Lighthouse. Runes is kind of maybe not so much here. Uh, as far as fan favorites and player favorites, I think it's just it's always fun to have something that people can fall off of and ruins clips. I'm gonna get the can, but out of Barberton first map looks stable. We'll see how it fights on point here. Pretty old school arena style play. What do you find interesting about the top? Uh, two double sniper. It, it's not so bad. I like the there with lots of mobility. Enemy Reaper does not turn around to deal with that threat. Good turn around here, really. I mean, just turn around, just dive on his anything besides to sit there. That's not a mosquito at the back of your head. It's actually the double shotguns of a, of a character who is taking your health away. That's uh, correct. Please turn around. Barton's got a good hold here. They could have taken that forward high ground. Oh, the Columbia uh, Reaper comes up real too close. In the middle of uh, daylight, even. The dome has blown up. Yeah, Barton is kind of taking a really aggressive forward hold here because I, they just don't feel threatened right now. I think they're kind of waiting to see what kind of pressure Columbia can put on and ready to back if they need to, but I, I just don't think they feel threatened here at all. Well, they just got the pit spawner and it goes down again. Well, Barbara collapsed on this, absolutely. They see they get the pick up the DPS to make it a, 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 a oh, the board. There's a little more off the map. I like the Lucio playing up here with the Reaper, actually. Absolutely. A high-speed escort is perfect for this hyper-aggressive engages. Especially when you get that first one to fight your transition hold. Uh, team fighting to a win. Having that Lucio there to pop you. Uh, especially with a slow character like Reaper. is absolutely incredible. Spin to block the orb. Just like this. Because I don't think they're going to get into position to put any more pressure on Barber in there, so it's nice to keep them away from building the old charge. Well, they're coming down the lane for a switch over to the right one. Looks like they're going to split after the door doors. And we'll go on the Yeah, we see like a split again once again. They're going on the split side. Against these zeros, they have these, these push abilities. That's not a good move, and, and just being split generally is bad. It might have made more sense to have everybody get that move around there and take out the part of the tank. But uh, got blinked up. I don't believe Barbara only lost the Hanzo, I believe. I don't believe Barbara lost any in that fight, did they? Oh, we do have the Hanzo in the back, yes. So they, they did finally get a pick up. This would be Columbia's time to push. It was one. I mean, their time pushed about, about 7% ago. We're on 98%. This is Barbara's nap. There's, there's no way they're going to touch this. Celebratory uh, spin and nap over here. By the booty. Does he go down the board? He does. <laughs> Oh, the next map. Should we count that for Easy. Columbia's kill count here? The post, uh, I wouldn't, say I wouldn't so, think no. so either. Only I think two elims from Columbia ruins. that whole See, match. everybody hates ruins, but I like ruins because I think the pillars offer a nice dynamic. You can still play the sniper characters and like the aerial, uh, aerial mobile characters, and it gives you that opportunity to be in the middle of the sky but also still safe, right? Yeah, we see Barbert in here. You know, let's go ahead and roll this ahead a little bit. Well, maybe not 20 seconds. I should have rolled it a little sooner, so we're not just admiring the beauty of Ilios here. But uh, I, I, I just like the the thing I think of for Ilios is knocking people off stuff, and that's just isn't present on this map. Uh, so I, I'm not be very strong when Ball first came out, especially on the side health pack. But you don't see that too much anywhere. But you kind of learn to not play over there unless you're like a monkey or a speedy character. There's just not much reason to go over here. Even this big health pack, just not enough of a drive. Out from the loose here. here. Oop. Echo getting pressured a little bit. Sorry, uh, Barbara getting a 
really big on the uh, the PDF of Columbia as well. Doing a dark with the other right here. They need to look up. That goes in the background picking the grenade there. They let the sleep sit. Oh yeah, that booty is just absolutely obliterating the enemy team here. With with his allies drawing the fire and parakeet that god supporting, uh, we see this tank taking space. I mean, this is this is just how you play Overwatch, I feel like. I mean we're we're isolating targets, playing together. I, I know we don't have comms here, but we're, we're here, and I, I can tell you from experience, they, they had good calls on who to pick, where to shoot, and they're exploiting every mistake from Columbia. Absolutely, and I think it's like the road that the Columbia CPS is supposed to go down there, and it's kind of making it a for them to put. Ma, take the duel and wins against the uh, enemy Echo. A little bit of uh, CO down there. I really don't think that Columbia is down there, maybe, but it's kind of all they have to do is also yeah, but they're collapsing the back while their tank is off doing whatever he's trying to do. Yep, we ate the Echo Alt off for some fun soldier times here. They've started to finish them off. Barbara actually kind of getting a little sandwich here. Maybe need to pick a target isolated. Well, oh, they've, they've decided. Yeah, that is true. I, I think that maybe if they're going to go through this small space, that really doesn't feel like it plays well to a Sigma, does it? Like, should that Sigma really be one through there? They have to clear all the way to the other side first. They don't want to hold it inside. They want to play. They don't oh, like they have heroes for that. They have a life weaver which can be popping over. Which is still possible. Like with a Sigma, you might want to actually hold main and dump the pedal there. Uh, oh, Red, 70% almost. Uh, engaged. The, uh, the Echo goes down again from uh, Ray there. Yeah, Ray's really doing a great job sniping that Echo, keeping them from really challenging any of Barbara and his other heroes here. We have life out. Is it going to matter? I think Barbara just. Decides to, to back away from the tree, don't let them play into the health. So, what's the tree doing other than giving them a few extra I think that was a really like Columbia. Um, that tree doesn't really do much for them other than give them that 10 feet to still stand in. Correct. Like, you, you might have wanted to see like a rapper rotating around to the side and then jump that on point so they can actually have a brawl on point. But, yeah. Good uh, counterplay by there, by Barbara did throwing that grab out and then cleaning up the rest of the team. Yeah, I like that they disengaged from tree too. They didn't say, well, let's just kill the tree and fight him here. They, they, they realized. Why would we fight here? This isn't this isn't the place the fight needs to happen. At least around a tree, all we're gonna do is throw resources into something that we don't need to. So they just said, let's let's move the fight where we can win it. And then Columbia made the mistake of following them, chasing and dying for it. Though with the smart play by Barton. Yeah, with the percent charge though, there's you know I don't think they had a choice but to push forward at that point. They really that's a mistake on the life weaver for for putting that all out way too early. Um, I think the I think they had a reset at the end there maybe I think it was they, they, they could add one more fight uh, it was it was hard to say the thing is that they've not really had a cohesive push um, Columbia's been down one player almost every fight it seems all right we'll see you in the next map welcome back esports fans we're now sitting over here looking at uh, the team getting ready to roll let me unpause this here. We're going to be on defense here on King's Row. I think King's Row is the number one most picked map in all of Esports Ohio. Uh, and probably all of Overwatch, if I'm I would agree with that, yeah. King's Row is just such an absolute classic map. It's uh, it's solved, but it's fun. Though every time they add a new hero, maybe we add a new piece there, of the equation. There's some, uh, there's some um, somber changes on the horizon. Another well, they just rework. happened, I believe. I mean, the update's not out, but yeah. So that'll be interesting to see uh, how the flanker routes and street spaces with that, but again, everybody knows King's Row, everybody knows how to play it, let's see what Columbia can bring. I think it's nice that last time we saw a similar comp out of Barberton, but they swapped out, uh, who do used to be on, um, the May on this comp, I think, when they did it last time, they swapped it over for higher damage to sort of, uh, kind of lift some of the weight off of the Hanzo shoulders of being the sole damage dealer from the DPS side. Yep, and the Lari as well, uh, they had that last time, the on a very interesting high damage, high range, low ability combat uh, about this. And usually getting off get that first pick on to the Rubio. Rubio's pushing a little slow right now. Um, Lock and low there. First down. First down. Oh, the rock. High.
trying to do this fight up here and then we get chase. So low. Get out. He is, he's hiding. He's gotta have raid. There okay, he go. raids out. Close one for exhale game. He's probably exhaling after a <laughs> close call. Ult from... Yep, ult from Tommy. I don't know if that was just to say, hey, uh, let's just, let's just... I don't know. Try to get a shield there. Oh, maybe zone out the one guy who's out of spawn. I don't know. Ryan charging in. Interesting. Ryan, Ryan charging is dead, I'm sure. I, I guarantee Barb's flat purple. They picked the Mercy first, though, which is really nice discipline there to get her as he's flying in and try to support that Ryan. You really don't want to put a straight line on when you want to rotate around. Keep it slow there. There's not a lot of mobility in the rest of the game. to follow up on something. You really want to take this long route to the side here over this way. Because you're right, they're, they're not going to be able to keep up with that charge. All it's going to be is the Ryan's going to die or it's going to make a team stagger after it. Uh, I, think, I think Ray got the finish off in there against one of the uh, enemies. I, I didn't see where he was. He, I like him playing up in this spot here and using that mobility to kind of take extra uh, height and peaks. Shamari's absolutely cracked right now, so if you have high attention to kill, it's very good to hear play. Well, we know Ray's absolutely cracked, so that should be uh, his favorite bar for Knight. Had to put Moira there, so it's even now. Get to do it. All you really need is to get one kill per ult, and you're in your goal, I feel like, right? I mean, he does eventually die for it. They're regrouping on those. Uh, I think it was worth it though. Barbara, yeah, that's our first pass. Yeah. And if a Reaper's on your face. The Reaper did Oh, it's a booty. Barbara, and maybe they're gonna give up a pick here. Yeah. They got all the stay all the ult out of Ray here. Who is that? Yeah, Barbara has ult in the bank when things go bad here. And so we're gonna be seeing those Alari uh sunblocks or whatever they're gonna pop. And what's their name from the sunburst? Uh, I don't remember the name, but it is a, a, a heavy chunk of damage there. But with those two ults together, there's like I actually think that those two heroes could have held the whole five man no problem just because or they kind of did. Especially considering Columbia didn't have ult there. It was a um, three four at the start. There was no two five nine. They did take it back. Two heroes they like potentially take two two five nine ult coming out to kind of zone the enemy team oh, back in a two bit. It's hard to say. Um, I mean, yeah, if, if the enemy team has ult, absolutely not. If they, or if they don't on. have ult, and they don't have a whole lot of burst damage, potentially, it really it's about uh, either bleeding down or zoning out the, uh, the Ramatra, and where are you going to run on King's Row when you're on offense, right? Yeah, you that's why Ram's so good here, the tight spaces. Um, but I, I love that Alari with the Ram ult, because once you have the, that Alari ult on you, I mean, you're going to deal the damage. Dancing, but Barbara's got a shield up, and he Yeah. That was their, uh, their swan swan play to try and get any progress on the point. Somebody had to touch. Yeah, I mean, they, they just were trying to extend it as best as they could to try to get even a little bit of a tick, but no no progress whatsoever out of Columbia on King's Row here. Full hold for four minutes from Barberton. Let's see how long it takes them to break into the Columbia defense. Maybe Columbia will look stronger on defense um, and, and be able to hold Barberton back, but I, I really find it... Hard to believe that they're going to be able to hold off for four minutes against a Barberton offensive. I'm curious what heroes also Barberton is going to bring to the table here. I'm going to roll this ahead a little bit for us, 20, just because it's such a long setup, and we don't need to see their setup. We're curious about what Barberton's going to be doing when they come out here. So let's see what heroes we've got. Looks like a Jotes. Rig Lucio. Yeah, it does look like Jotes, yes. So who's on who? Eric got on the uh, Reaper. That's interesting. You don't need to see one. Who's on the uh, other? Ah, we got Tommy on. The, uh, what's their name? I always forget that hero. Here are those Sojourn. busted. Sojourn, that's right. Barbara's taking the long route here. Which... Yeah, I think they. I think that was a fat figure. Ooh, seven and looking low. Tommy in the back line gets their support, gets a DPS. Yeah. At this point, I mean, there's a turret here. There's a turret first. So busy looking at Barbara's lineup, I didn't even see that they had. Nope. And, and it was, map. That was quick. That was fast. Well, let's go quickly to our next map here. See if Columbia can bring it back in the third round or if Barbin's going to have a clean 3-0 sweep. Let's take a look at what that looks like here in a moment. All right, here we are on our third map of the series against Columbia High School. 
Barberton High School here getting ready to, well, I guess not start on the defense. They're starting on the offense. We intended to start on defense, actually. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we had a bit of a, a, a whoopsie on which team was offense, which was defense. So it's all right. We're going to take the offense and do our very best. Push this cart as far as we can, hopefully deep into the heart of Junkertown. Uh, that being said, looks like we're running notes on the offense here. Pretty smart play. And then an offensive back to move that position immediately goes down. Good punish by Barbara. We're going to be a push after that. Yeah, they, they were able to just immediately just, just, just delete the enemy team. Wow. And really intelligently, we kept one on the card to make progress while we're doing that push. Uh, the, the brig back there, I think that that's fine. Uh, Deputy going forward to get some pressure on if they make any mistakes of staggering out slowly. Could get picked here if they're not careful, but I think that he's got the confidence to uh, to make it out. The only real threat he has is maybe like the here, you know, the one of So looks like the first point's going pretty clean here. What made you uh, like the uh, the Jotes? Um, yeah, a hyper aggressive play style, and he's really good about that. Um, they maybe have recognized that we're in the characters on the team. There's really nothing on it. How did the, uh... How are you getting a 2k on Lucio? Yeah. How did the, um... How did Columbia here? Are they still pressing back to the FAR? Ray gets another finish there. You love to see it. Him, him with Tommy up on offense, uh, you know, it's really, it really feels sometimes like we've got a third DPS almost, you know? With that uh, accuracy. Absolutely. I would honestly like to see some kind of sniper. Like, I, I like the Mercy Swamp. The, the Reaper is all right, but now I like to see the Amani. So, like, the Reaper is all right. Ah, you're talking about the Columbia. From Columbia, yeah, that's what we're doing. Uh, the Carpet is getting the Reaper so far. They have not dropped into the hole. Oh, there goes the first player, Ray. Spot. I mean, he was playing hyper aggressive and Lucius has been soft, so I understand. Are they going to be here? Yeah, yeah well, that might be. Out. He's going to force Barbara not pulling hard. Down. Yeah, Barber's just got to get out of here. They just got to take the L on this fight. Ooh, getting a, a, a martyr kill at the end there. The, uh, the right to finish shot on the, uh, the Marcy by Barber. Yeah, you're, so you're saying there should be a sniper on the side of uh, Columbia with these open sidelines here. Or at least like, kind of hit uh, scan long it, range. I, I think they swamped up to that. I'm liking that. The, uh, the echo is actually sharp. Well, same idea. You wouldn't have like a uh, before. I feel like a Jote strategy is something that we should uh, see Barberton try to implement more when they're on offense on this map. Do you feel like it's pretty effective as a as a tactic? It'll depend on the defensive lineup. I think it's an excellent choice against what we're up against. Right. Against a, a, a more traditional comp. And, uh, more snipers and things? Uh, yeah, I, I think it would be shut down for sure. There, there's not enough barriers, there's not enough to um, deal with like, a However, that's not Ooh, scary point. here. Ooh, Ferris gets out. That was a little scary. It was. Well, you know what? He used the race properly to disengage. And they're going for these forward picks, you know. Oh, big purple. Yeah, they get some picks. not great. I mean, the Mercy had to work to one end. Uh oh, there's probably going to be some picks here. Oh, never mind. Finish off by Barberton. No, I believe Barbara. what saved Barbara there was that uh, really nice brig ult coming out in the, in the heat of the moment there from uh, Julian. Absolutely. Our JV player subbed up here. Uh, really fitting well in with the varsity line there, making the smart play to keep his team alive. Push for that final, um, that, that, that final fight there. Well, not final, but that uh, offensive at the second point. Lows here. Reaper getting in. Nice. There's the old. Both DPS ults coming out at once. I actually think the Reaper ult would have been enough there. Ooh, I see Reaper ult. I think they're just going to walk it in though. The enemy team's still on the point. There's no healer right now. They're, they're on heart heals only. Maybe. Moira. Moira. They, I remember they were calling out the Moira was going to be back and they might be able to fight it. There was a discussion if they should back off or not, and they felt that they should just stay and fight it out. I don't know if that's going to pay off. Three heroes are back. Four heroes. Good pick by Parakeet. 
Extended fight, but still one that goes to Barberton here. Not well done. Yeah, I, I I know that they 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 felt confident that if they stuck in and fought, that they'd be able to hold it. And uh, you know, perhaps a better strategy would just be to pull everyone back and push in his five to get a clean, quick, more sure thing. But I I they made it work. It, it, I think it would have been about the same time. Um, it, it just could have gone very bad there. I think Barberton just knew that they had it in them and. They became him and won. Yeah, I mean, based on the the previous uh, encounters with this team over the last two maps, uh, they probably felt like we're going to be able to take the 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 mechanical skill difference here. It, it's going to be in our favor, so we should be able to come out on top. Ready for battle. Let's see what Barbin runs on the defense here. I'm going to roll it ahead 20 here, just so we're not waiting a full 100 million seconds here. Let's see what Barbin's got. So they do have the Hanzo. I like that. I'm, I'm still unsure of the Bastion on defense here. I like the better positioning on that back uh, gate there. The um, having a Zenyatta. This is actually a very low field comp, but it does have that res there. You're going to have to abuse that, I well, think. I like seeing the Zen for like another damage deal out of this long range. In addition to that, um, I will say it's interesting that the booty is on the Hanzo instead of Uh, oh, nice, nice rock. rock. He's super low. That, 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 there's a little bit more of a focus fire there. So he's down and actually gets a headshot onto the uh, Yeah, I think the call was to go for the support and just let the ram kind of kill for a bit. The ram's very hard to deal with if he's getting pocketed here. Barber looks like they've got the picks. This, oh, is he going to get out? He looks does. like he does. Sam's showing everybody how well he plays his Sigma. He does not miss his rock. Yeah, I think I think you had mentioned to me that you think that may be his best of his tanks. I think signal. so. He, he's good on quite a few, but it's just a uh, very easy Yeah, and I really like Sigma because Sigma is always in A tier if you're making the tier list pretty much. Sigma's always just like good everywhere. Yeah, hog and offense here. Seems like he's got a hook. Interesting. Interesting hog at all, to be honest. Still not a hero that I would really pick in almost any situation. That is a very dangerous option to there by Julian. But he, he managed to see this. So yeah, he's pocketed now too, so he should be fine. Support battle. <laughs> Support battle. I wonder, is the, yeah, I was gonna say, is the, is the orb not on? The Lucid finally uh, tucked it over, and it might have been on a different target I wasn't watching there. Hey, get the finish. Gotta have those uh, archers on defense here always. And Hanzo's doing a very good job punishing any kind of um, long range engagement there. Is this pretty much where Barbara wants to sit? They can't really afford to sit much closer, correct? Right? Yeah. There she got all coming out. Where are we landing it? Great. You get the res on our support. Nice as well, but it's rock and dragon. Excellent. Nice isolation there. A lot of alts coming out from Barberton right there. I think we used what three? No two. Two. Yeah. We've got Valkyrie, Lift, and we will have transcendence on the horizon. Nothing out of um. Lumpy, uh, they could have potentially build up another support ult. Have they been swapping the heroes too much to get these ult charges? They're just not killing enough. It's not using any energy. I think. Like they're they're down to the. Oh, nice the block! Stopping the, Stop the res. Stopping the res. Love to see it. The Reaper kept the kill on the, uh, the Bastion there, but he just res backed up immediately. This is what I was talking about of using the, uh, the res, because this is a low heal stuff. The, their healing just now came online in the corner of their ult. Good uh, body shot follow there. Um, also the Shimmer as well. But, yeah, they yeah that Reaper probably. needs to learn what cover is. They were already down three. It's the thing that they should keep pushing that. Like, they need to... It's it, it, we we understand. Columbia Columbia's got some growing to do. What do you, what do you think as far as Barbadin's choice is here? Though you think they're they're picking the right comp for what they might do out there? Oh, enemy beam. That's what I'm talking about. It's a portal. Uh, Barbadin's a good man. Looking quite well. And they do get a hit. Oh, Barbadin lost too. Looks like he got a little bit late. Is it going to be able to get rid of the kill? I don't know. Uh -oh. Ooh. There's 
throw on everything. They say we have to get this point, and it looks like this might be Columbia's point. Barb is going to have to have a full reset here to get back on the they point. They can do a spawn dragon if somebody can touch point, but, but it doesn't look like there's going to be anybody but the Bastion with the Mercy. Very interesting. See how this plays out. It's scary here for Barbaran. I, I think that, you know, at least, at least they're not going to stop it. Oh, they're going to stop it. Oh, it's going to, it looks like it's going to be their point. Oh, no, they dropped down. They waited for the last second. Looked less than a meter. I didn't see that Barberton had the um, the Bastion ult. The Bastion ult there, yeah, that was a little bit unexpected. The double DPS ult, that's exactly what they needed to zone them off the cart to buy that time to get that point one meters left. Everybody jumped down and get after that two pick. That was a very smart play by Barberton. Yeah, and Barberton takes the win. So Columbia not able to get there today, though that last fight um, really showed kind of they exploited some of that weakness in the Barberton heel comp. Uh, if we'd seen the trance a little bit sooner as that fight maybe began, oh, absolutely. Uh, then I think Barberton would have never even let him get that far. But unfortunately, trance came out a little too late, and then just it was a symphony of the ults that finally built from Columbia that they had to use to defeat Barberton. And then Barberton, two ults is all they needed to really push Columbia back at the last second and stop the map from extending for more time. Absolutely. Well, thank you for watching, and we hope to see you guys again in the future for the next maps and matches. Uh, I believe next week's match is going to be, unless it's cast by ESO, which there's a random chance it could be, uh, next week, oh, we've got a bye. So we will join you on the 17th, uh, or at least that's when our next match will happen, against Yellow Springs High School, and that will be our first map, will be Nepal. So until then, Barber Esports fans, uh, have a good time. We'll see you then.